The Old Vic Theatre London, Emma Conn's Garden and surrounding area in 1982 and 2022. What has changed and what has stayed the same? This picture of the Old Vic was taken in 1982. These views are from Christmas 2021 and Spring 2022. It is staggering what has changed, especially considering the Old Vic is a listed building. From the trees and cars to the facade of the Old Vic Theatre itself. This video aims to highlight the changes along with the histories through the use of contemporary photos and video shot in 2022. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images. The Old Vic is a 1,000 seat, not-for-profit producing theatre on the Cut in Waterloo, London. It was established in 1818 as the Royal Coburg Theatre and renamed in 1833 the Royal Victoria Theatre. In 1871 it was rebuilt and reopened as the Royal Victoria Palace. It was taken over by Emma Cons in 1880 and formally named the Royal Victoria Hall although by that time it was already known as the Old Vic. Opposite the Old Vic, and where most of this footage was shot from, is the Emma Cons Garden. This is the information picture about Emma Cons that's in the park. From the sign, it says that Emma Cons was an active social reformer and legendary impresario, who managed the Old Vic following its restoration and reopening in 1880 until her death in 1912. This video shows the Old Vic in the context of the gardens. These gardens have changed many times over the years and are currently in a fairly poor state. But the one constant has been the three London plane trees that are now mature. Looking at the 1982 picture, it looks like at least one of the surviving trees has just been planted. The gardens are subject to a consultation with a planning application to improve them due later in 2022. Looking at the consultation, the link is in the description, users of the gardens see the trees as a redeeming feature of the site. Looking to the right of the picture, the flats, the park, the Waterloo Millennium Green, they are all still there. In the distance, the London Ambulance Service building appears the same. There is also a line of small trees which have now grown and obscured the flats and buildings in 2022. In 1982, there are a lot of barriers between the road and the park. There were railings all along the edge of the road, concrete bollards and small walls. By 2022, these have all gone and it is a lot more open. Now it is completely clear, except for the florist stall, though when this shot was taken, there was also a line of electric bikes. The traffic lights at the end of the road are still in the same place as is the street light on the left, though the design has changed. Let's move on to the Old Vic Theatre itself. I thought it would not have changed much as it is a listed building, first listed in 1951 and is now a Grade 2 star, which means, according to Historic England, it's part of a group of particularly important buildings of more than special interest and makes up only 5.8% of all listed buildings. Now to become a listed building, it has to be of special architectural or historical interest considered to be of national importance and therefore worth protecting. So I think this shows just how important the Old Vic Theatre itself is. To make any change to the building, listed building consent is required. According to Historic England, the 1983 remodel is based on the 1818 engraving of the original the building was badly damaged during World War II. It was repaired and reopened in 1950. There was no significant changes to the frontage when it was reopened. The 1982 picture shows essentially how it looked after the 1950 restoration. But looking back at old photos, it was the same in 1928. So it's difficult to ascertain when the change in facade happened between the original in 1818 and what there was in 1982. According to the Theatre Database History, link in the description below, the building was altered in 1871, 1880, 1888 and 1927. So it is likely the change to the original happened in stages until the radical recreation with amendments in 1983. 
And what we see in 1983 is substantially what there is in 2022. According to the Theatres Trust website, again linked below, the current frontage from the 1980s was a recreation of the early 19th century. Now let's look at the differences from the roof down. The crest looks like it has been retained but is now a lot more prominent at the top of the additional triangular frontage. The top windows have changed shape from square to oval. The finishing around the lower windows is a lot simpler. The front canopy, which was not there in the original 1818 building, has been added but looks like it has been considerably simplified compared to 1982. The signage is also massively different. The neon side on the right hand side has gone. There is now permanent signage in the middle of the building. Obviously a very recent new addition are the electronic screens. These are the changes that I noticed but I know there are many more and we have not covered the inside of this amazing building at all. I hope you've enjoyed looking at how things have changed. I'll be making more then and now videos so please subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.